What's up? I'm Karim, and today I want to show you how we can add gesture functionality to an existing uh, drawer or hamburger menu on mobile in React. Source code will be available in GitHub, link in the description. So here we have a drawer menu slash hamburger menu that we can open and close using clicks. But I want to give option to my users to uh, open and close the drawer using gesture and that seems a pretty common feature these days. And improve the user experience a little bit nicer. So let's jump right in the code. I have a simple React Tailwind project initialized with Wit. And here we have a hamburger menu component that I'm not going into the details about the HTML CSS aspect of it. I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you are, you're already uh, familiar with those uh, aspects. Just know that our component uh, have a hamburger button and a drawer menu that gets open and closed using click and give the track of uh, drawer openness with a simple use state. So what we want to do is that to listen for the gesture event that the browser gives uh, the API for that to us and act on the gesture uh, as we desire. Uh, so I'm just going to bring the code piece by piece and explain it. So we are not using any third-party libraries for this because uh, it could be accomplished with just a few lines of JavaScript. And it's better and a good practice to keep our uh, node modules um, as minimal as possible. So we have, uh, we need to keep track of uh, two reference, the touch start and the, and the touch end. And here uh, we use the browser API uh, to listen to touch start event and touch end event, which uh, the events that we want and uh, are the gestures. Also before uh, adding the handler functions, uh, we're returning uh, those listeners so it will get removed uh, on component on mount to free up some memory and uh, performance best practices. So in the handler, uh, what we're doing is just uh, setting the uh, gesture event uh, uh, simply where user uh, touched the screen in axis X. And at the end of touch event, we're calling uh, the gesture handler. And that's where we uh, kind of uh, calling uh, the core code and the code that uh, we will act based on the gesture or touch start touch end, end event and open and close drawer based on how user touched the screen. Also, for better user experience, uh, we add a swipe threshold variable, so uh, kind of uh, user needs to extend his or her hands further along the x-axis. And by doing that, uh, our job is done. Let's test it. And as you can see, now we can open and close the drawer using gestures. That's it for this video. Uh, let me know if it was helpful and if uh, should I continue making this kind of videos. Also, you can uh, customize uh, gesture handler by uh, tweaking a little bit with swipe threshold value. So it's uh, more or less sensitive due to the uh, gesture event. But I let's keep it. 50. Thank you for watching. I was Karim. Until next time, bye bye.